Hey guys, uh, I recently purchased this outdoor multi-tool so I thought I'd bring it out today, give it a bit of a test run and uh, show you guys how it works. That comes in this little pouch here that will fit on your belt if you need it to. You've got a shaft here and in the pouch a little shovel head and an axe head. And then in the shaft itself, in the bottom here, we've got a knife blade. And in the top, if you unclip it, you have to press this button here in, there's a saw blade. Now first we're going to try out the saw, and the way this works is you just slide this in there, press that button down, and then it locks into position through the hole there. The one thing I find strange about this saw that is though, the shaft being so long and the handle being down here, it's alright if you're trying to cut something that's up high, but preferably I'd rather have the handle be quite close to the blade so I can sort of put more pressure down and just be a bit more accurate with it. Um, because this saw blade doesn't feel all that solid, I can imagine that bending, especially if you've got quite a distance between your hand and the saw so you, you can't be as accurate with it uh, also this does as you can see there rattle around quite a bit in the shaft that doesn't hold solid so once again trying to cut anything accurately um, isn't going to work very well and it's, it's not that I particularly need to cut wood accurately when I'm out but it's more that I think if you can't hold the blade in a more solid fashion it's going to end up causing the blade to bend easily but we'll try it out anyway so I'll give this a go it's making it hard work and it's bending around all over the place because this has been so flimsy flopping around it's really hard to kind of put much pressure on that and that's not particularly hard wood I mean it's it's not all that soft but it's not uh, it's not you know sort of dead wood that's really hardened off either so that makes real hard work of that because this just flops around I'll try it if I hold it a bit more no, I mean, that's, that's not even a particularly thick bit of wood, and that's having real trouble cutting through there. Alright, so that's the saw blade, which, personally, I don't think is really any good. <laughs> Next we'll try the knife, which uh, does come quite sharp, but there is also a bit of metal kind of chipped out of the blade at the edge there. Not sure how well it will show up on camera but there is just a little bit kind of chipped out of the blade there which makes it look like it's probably quite cheap metal. Once again the idea with this is that you slide it into the shaft here which as most of you will know when you're using a knife really you want the handle near to the blade so you can be accurate with it and put pressure on it. Having the handle all the way down here to use a knife is just bizarre. Um, if you wanted to use it as some kind of s uh, spear to attack someone with or an animal but otherwise for, for bushcraft it's really not very practical at all. Um, you know you could put a, a bit of bicycle inner tube up there to give it some some grip closer to the blade to use it like that but once again this is shaking around all over the place this knife and the last, you don't want a knife blade that's, that's wiggling around like that but the handle isn't really adequate to hold I mean you could do but it's not particularly comfortable to hold it like that to use so at the minute this is just seeming very gimmicky but not practical whatsoever but like I say the knife does feel sharp so I'll just try and sort of uh, do a bit of cutting with that and see, see what it's like this is doing it from a distance, uh, holding it by its proper handle, and you know it's, it's slicing a bit. But once again, it's hard work, and a lot of that's because of the positioning of the handle and 
the blade being so wiggly up there. The actual blade itself isn't too bad if you could hold it properly. It's serviceable. Alright, so now we'll move on to the shovel head and the idea with this is you put the saw blade in or the knife blade if you want to upside down so that clips in there and then the shovel goes over the top of that until that bit goes through the hole to kind of lock it into place like so all right so let's give this a try this is quite soft earth so it's not particularly hard to dig through but you know, it's uh, cutting through all right. I wouldn't try it on anything too solid, but it does the job. Because really I bought this to keep in the car to scoop away snow or whatever from around the tyres, and it would be perfectly adequate for that. But if you wanted to dig a big hole, I mean, it's not a huge, uh, you know, particularly big shovel blade, but it, uh, it does the job just for a small hole on soft enough ground. So that at least does the job there. And now lastly, we'll try the axe head. And this attaches in the same way as the, the shovel head. You just slide it over the end there. And that just goes through the hole there that little notch to hold it into place now one thing with this is because the shaft accommodates the knife blade and the saw blade when it's all stored together that means that the shaft itself is actually very thin obviously it's hollow so the saw and the knife blade can fit in there but if I just take the axe head off of here take the saw blade out and show you how thin that is is that going to withstand much hacking away using this as an axe shaft? We'll see, but I mean, it, it looks to me like it would just buckle and bend pretty easily. Considering the saw blade and the knife blade are pretty much useless, this would have been far better if it was a solid shaft and it just came with the shovel head and the axe head to, to put on here. But the, the back of the axe head here can be used as a hammer if you want to, and that does feel quite solid. There's kind of a couple of bits of metal bent around there reinforced so I think that the axe head itself feels quite solid and quite good it comes blunt I had to sharpen that up but it wasn't too difficult to sharpen I managed to get that to really quite sharp in the end it didn't take all that long so the axe head itself you could maybe use if you you know if you had a, a spare wooden or solid metal shaft laying around but I'm not expecting much from this Well, the, uh, the axe head's actually come loose from where it was attached. The, uh, the bit that's, where is it? That bit there that's supposed to hold it into place. It's, once you're hacking away a bit, that just slips over that. As you just saw there, it, it sort of spun around, so that's not very good. I don't think the shaft is bent yet, though. I'm going to keep at it. <clears throat> Once again, the axe head, it's sliding off. It's not holding into place. And I had it clipped in there as, as much as it will, but and the, like I say, the, the, the blade itself is, is uh, sharp enough, and if you could get it to, to actually stay attached, it, it would cut through there. But as it is, it's just making a chore of it because I'm having to keep stopping because the axe head's sliding off, so I'm not even gonna bother continuing with that. So that is a real fail, like do not waste your money on one of these things, it's really not worth it. I'm surprised the shaft itself didn't bend when I was using the axe head, so that's at least one uh, positive, but yeah, pretty much every tool on it other than the shovel is useless. And 
why would you? you know, even, even if you only wanted the shovel, you can get better ones that fold up that would have a stronger shaft to them because even though that worked fine, it was only on soft ground anyway. I don't think it would withstand anything too hard. So this really is just pointless tat, to be honest. And it's a shame because the, the ax head itself feels good. There's, there's one thing that's sort of, at least feels good quality about it and the shovel head, but everything else, the, the construction of it, the design, the saw, the knife, all useless. So do not, whatever you do, buy one of these things. There's quite a few of them on eBay and that. Uh, it's not worth the money at all. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you next time.